Paul, you're going away parties and knockouts. Oh, it wouldn't be without you, though, John. Everybody's crazy about you. It makes me so proud of my brother. Brass buttons and a uniform make the flappers weep and the widows dry their tears. You see yourself from tomorrow on. Thinking of tomorrow in the Naval Academy makes me sort of nervous, John. Well, General, Paul will be off for Annapolis tomorrow. We're both old folkies now. Somehow I can't help feeling, well, wistful. Wistful? Ah. Randall, you should be thankful to think you've escaped from those sardine boxes they call battleships. Gee, man, Well, I done got all Martha Paul's stuff all packed up. Well, that's fine, Smokescreen. Yes, but, but I don't think I... How a mother Paul can go way down there to Annapolis all by himself without me to look after him. You to look after him? Yeah, you know that young to get way down there all by yourself and be just as helpless down there as them old gin bottles you got out there. Don't you worry about Paul. He was born with the Navy in his blood. Yeah, the Navy in the blood is all right. But Mother Paul don't need nothing in his blood but some self and serve. Because I have to be bothered with him. <laughs> you should have let him go to West Point with his brother. Make a man of him. After all, Summers, he's my son's boy. And a Randall belongs to Annapolis. Boys take after their mother. He is my daughter's son. Don't forget that. Have we discussed this matter sufficiently? Ever since the boys lost their parents, we agreed that you should bring up one and I the other. Yes, we made a bargain. Good, Good luck. Oh, Lynn, you're not forgetting the army, are you? Absolutely not. Will you stay me the next dance? Sure enough. Oh, that's sweet. Only sometimes I wish I was strong and sure of myself, like you. Everything comes sort of easy to you. Oh, I make it easy, Paul. If I want anything, I don't ask for it. I take it. That's the only way. You try it and see. I don't know whether that would work for me. Maybe it's better for me just to go on trying and hope for the best. Well, I've got this next dance with Marion, and I've got to be running along to find her. She's probably up to her neck and admire her. That music sure is good song, the name of that one. Yeah, I, I hope the music be good sounding like that at the annual ball. What ball? Oh, the annual ball.
of all the, the bargain and barbecue they give for the noble sons and daughters of Ethiopian youth. Yeah, I said, that sure be a big thing, Jing Abba. Everybody be there. They be already come everywhere and everybody come. I guess everybody gonna be there this time. Everybody but me, I suppose. Not going to the ball smoke? Well, must be a catch somewhere. No, it ain't no catch, but you see, you got to wear all them hot suits and costumes, you know. I ain't got the first costume myself. I had a costume while I showed you that door. Well, I reckon it ain't no use for me standing up here exposing no food and like that, because where's well, I'm going to get a costume from? Well, they say every day has his dog, huh? You mean every dog has his days, Mother? Yeah, sir. In general, I, I, I was just thinking, uh, since you done, you done quit the, quit the Navy, I was just wondering, is you going to use all them, them, them gold shining uniforms you got with, with them buttons on them? Yes, Smoke, I am. Thank you, is. I am. I don't know how come me to ask you that, but I wasn't expecting to go that far no how. Thank you, Farrell. Oh, uh, pardon me, sailor. Just a little sea dust. Er, uh, thanks, Kadet. See, I had most all the time trying to get away from Fred. Yeah, so I see. Gosh, those naval rings are pretty, aren't they? I hope I didn't keep y'all waiting long. Well, exactly nine minutes, Marion. And that's ten minutes more than I expect to wait for any young lady. Oh, uh, Lynn. Dancing? you pardon me, Marion, won't you? I didn't know you'd be back, so I made another date. real nice of you. Makes me feel sort of, well, you know, sort of goose fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it is really goodbye, you know, with Annapolis just across the river and all those hops. Uh, I mean, if you ask me. Well, of course I will. Every time there's a hop, if you let me. You would be looking to the man. I've been begging him and begging him. And I'll have a uniform. I'm going out for football and everything. I'm going to make you proud of me, the way you are of John. Why, I'm just as proud of you now, silly boy. Well, would you like... Well, I have this dance with John. Y'all don't mind, do you? Oh, of course not, Marion. Have a good dance. All right. Hey, Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul, come on, you got to go. You know you got to go to Indianapolis. Annapolis. Yeah, yeah. Annap you yeah. can't take me to Annapolis, Smoke Screen. You've got to stay here. I can take care of myself. Oh, no, no, no. i got to go with you. Now, you know i got to go along with you. You know you now, can't listen, do nothing without... Screen. You they know i got let to you know. go. You know, don't stop that. Now, stop that. the men of our family. All Navy men. From tomorrow, Paul, you become a Navy man too. I'm an old man, Paul, 
But I'm a happy one, for I've done my job. And I've lived to see another man of our family pick up where I left off. I'll try to be worthy of these men, Granddad. But, well, most of all, I want to be worthy of you. You will be. Thank you, sir. Before we like get out, fella? Sure. Where do we eat? We'll take that out of you before you get out of here. Oh, yeah? Sure. Okay, fella. Hello. Oh. No smoking. No smoking. Gee, no smoking in the yard. I wonder what they do around here for excitement. Crochet or something? Say, you better look out. The upperclassmen will sit on you good and hard if you get flipped with them. Oh, yeah? Well, let them sit, boy. I'm little Billy Porcupine, I am. Say, what's your name? Randall. Paul Randall. Mine's Price. Albert Edward Price. Albert Edward. My mother must have thought she was Queen Victoria or something when she wished that on me. <laughs> Say, I like you. Well, now, that's funny. We both have the same taste. I've got it. We'll room together. All right. Okay, boy. We'll raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States and to perform faithfully the duties of the office on which you are about to enter? I do. Gentlemen, you are now midshipmen in the United States Navy. I congratulate you and wish you success. You will take them to the midshipman store and outfit them. Left, right, forward, march. What's this? Huh. Come on. Huh. Hey, Sarge, listen, that is the way we did in high school. Get uh, back in there. I'm doing this. You do it like I say, see? Get back in there. All right. Stay there. I'm only trying to help you, that's all. I don't know. Yeah, you'll need them for luck. Get back in there. You're good, now you're not off. Forty soldiers. Get some tonight, put them in your pocket. Forward! Huh! Did I tell you before to have that rifle on the other way? Turn her on there. Lock it down with it. Stand up, say, hit your heels together. What do you got in your mouth? Spit it out! Wipe a smile off your face down there. Hey, Sarge, when do we eat? Keep quiet. Eat! You ever think about anything else but eating? Did you have your lunch? Sure, but I'm well, you'll get some supper tonight. Don't worry about it. I hope so. Gee, I don't think I'm going to like this. I think it's fun. <laughs> What's that? I think it's funny, did you say? No, I said it was well, fun. Well, better than not, because you're going to like it before you get through with it, see? Yeah, but Sarge, John Paul Jones didn't have to do this, did he? He did if he drilled under me. Oh. Oh, there. Huh. Wake up down there. What's this? Huh. All right. Huh. <laughs> hey, hey, where are you going 
over there, guys. Get back over here for the dollar raise now. Get back over Don't let's strike the water like that. Stand by, get away together. Get away together. Get it out together, both sides together. Hey, you Duffy, put that gun out. Come back together, head and eye in the boat. Now get together, get in together there. Dip in the man in front of you, Dip. Come back. Hey, Admiral, did you ever think of putting engines in these boats? Shut up. You're not an Admiral. You never saw him roll a battleship, did you? Keep quiet. Come back together. Come down on him. Stand by the toss. Toss! Well, well, you said to toss him, didn't you? I didn't tell you to toss it overboard. Didn't you have instructions this morning? Well, gee, I'm tired. I didn't know. How do you do? <laughs> well, my name's Price, Albert Edward Price. You've probably read about me, of course, in the papers. Mm -hmm. See, I'm from Paducah High School. I was, that sounded uh, awful. That really is the way to sing songs. <laughs> 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 I didn't go so big, I guess. <laughs> well, you see, you see, we're pleased, and we're trying to learn it. <laughs> of course, we'd appreciate it. Oh, of course, I understand. <laughs> Can you play the piano? Why, yes. Do you all know the words? Sure, oh, yeah. No. Say, I wrote him. I should know. <laughs> so, you come on inside and play the piano, and then I'll sing it and you get the words. Great. Thanks a lot. We'd be glad to. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Ray. Hey, Keep your mind on your music now. Come on. <laughs> Well, I thought I was going to play the piano. Oh, well, you can turn the leaves and, and lead the chorus. At least it gets us away from that boy from Paducah High School. Oh. <laughs> Your name's Randall, isn't it? How did you know? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I haven't been here long. Mine's Nancy Wayne. Hey, Randall, when are you going to pull up that anchor? Got it now. Hey, fellas, now all together.
any relation to that uh, Cadet Randall, the pride of the Army? He's my brother, sir. A brother of that man-crushing, rip-roaring, devastating all-American halfback Randall, eh? <laughs> Boys, what'll happen to Cadet Randall when the Navy hits him? Sink the Army, sink the Army, gray son! <laughs> Now, mister, you show us what'll happen to that fire-eating brother of yours when he plays against the Navy. Come on, 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 Hey, you big egg, that isn't fair. You seem to know a lot about the world, mister. Sure, boy, I've been places and done things. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You ever been to the movies, mister? Sure. What do they do in the movies? What a nexer. He doesn't mean the audience. What do the actors do, mister? <laughs> what a nexer. Ah, uh, you know too much. I'll give you one more chance. What do they do in the movies besides necking? Oh, they throw pies, sir. Oh, they do, huh? Yes, sir. Pies. Mm. They throw pies. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you'll be up at your quarters this afternoon with a great big pie. A nice, squishy, squishy, big, oozy pie. A cream pie. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we'll see what it is. Hey, mister, come on up and eat. Have some beans? Thank you, sir. Say, it's too bad you haven't got the build your brother has. We could use a few football players like him. Well, I've reported for the plebe squad, sir. You've reported? Pretty light. Looks like the Army got all the football players in the Randall family. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. But you'll grow. He won't eat any beans. Submerge! 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 Boy, if you ever want to know anything about anything, you just ask little Albert Edwards and he'll tell you what it's all about. Uh, here you are. You get that pie? Yes, sir. Where is it? Right here, sir. Let's have it. I had your initial put on it, sir. Oh, yeah? Very nice pie. Oh, don't thank me. I didn't bake it. No? No, sir. No? No, sir. No? No, sir. <laughs> Very evident you've been places and done things, mister. Thank you, sir. What do they do in the movies, mister? They throw pies, sir. Correct. Get yourself in that shower and put your face through the curtain. Like this? Wipe that smile off. Mister. Now tell me, what do they do in the movies? They throw pies, sir. Well, I'm thoroughly convinced that they throw pies in the movies, Doc. Now, mister, tell me, what do they do in the movies? They still throw pies, sir. That's very funny, Mr. Harold. That's going to cost you your Christmas leave. Take their name. Harold, D.H. Mr. Randall must have reported us to the watch officer. He's the only one that knew we were running price. You teach him something before we're through. I'm sorry you ever hit the Navy to turn a little sleep. Plebes on the varsity here, isn't it? I'd be a cinch for him. Are you a good football player? Am I good? Say, fella, I play football as it's never been played before. Oh, come on, 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 come on,
Yeah, yeah, right. You see, listen, I know about this. I was All-American halfback at Paducah. Bye-bye. Oh, right. Sure. Well, let's see you do it again. Right. Okay, watch this one, boy. Sure. Come on, let him do it this time, man. Let's see you do it, boy. Come on, All-American oh, tackle. That's the way to hit it. Come on. That's better. That's better. Thanks, better. man. Come on. Get up there. Keep trying it. All right, Reggie. Let's try it. Come on, Reggie. All right, Jimmy. Beat up, boy. That's better. Oh, it Please, sir, let me try it again. I think I can do better next time. Sure, go right ahead. Take it again, little boy. Wish Moore had that attitude. That's good. good. Come on now. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go
Leeds should be studying and not talking. What's the discussion about, mister? Heroes, sir. What about heroes? Well, we were just wondering if heroes could swim. Well, yeah. We'll see. Go over in the corner and swim like one, you hero. Come on in, Mr. Yes. Sleep. Poem about heroes, eh? You ought to know a lot about heroes. You're quite a hero yourself. To the watch officer. Yeah. Go ahead and recite it, mister. The new mister's furnish accompaniment with gesture. Hey, that's not fair. Oh, it's all right, Al. I don't mind. Why isn't it fair? Because that poem's about... Well, because it's a dirty trick, that's why. Dirty, eh? You go out and jump in the river and see how dirty that is. <laughs> go ahead and recite it, mister. In the gray of the dawn o'er that Philippine sea, when the lingering night shade still shrouded the shore, brave Randall struck out with a fleet in his lee, silently swam for the land's distant roar. Roar! With the surge of the billows, swish, swish for his song. <laughs> swish, 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 swish. swish, swish. <laughs> Rested the waters, unmindful of fears. His body might tire, but his courage was strong. And the shout of the waves was applause in his ears. Hooray! 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 That's enough, Doc. He's had enough. Come on. For him? Why, he's a hero. Go on, let's have the next verse. On the deck stood George Dewey, his keen eyes are clean. Ah! Whistle and burst of the rocket afar. Bang! Bang. It would say in the brilliance that followed its beam, the enemy lies in the line down, of the star. Down, down. <laughs> Brave Randall, pray Dewey. Pray a little more. Brave Randall, pray Dewey. Go on through the night. And on that gray shoreline, a tired form appears. And swish goes his rocket, and bright flares its light. And the guns of our fleet roar applause in his ears. Bang, 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 bang. Oh. How about another verse, sir? We're getting better. <laughs> You've had enough. Not enough for him, Bill. Why, he's a hero. Runs around and reports us to watch officers. I never reported anyone to a watch officer. Ah, uh, speak when you're spoken to, mister. You think I reported you? Why, certainly you did. You think I'm a dirty little spy? I tried to take your running because I thought it was part of the game. Although it was my own grandfather I was making fun of. And he was a hero, an officer, and a gentleman. And more than you'll ever be. But if you think I'm a rotten sneak and a tattletale, I don't belong with you. Brother officers. I don't want any brothers like you. I'm through with you. I'm through with anything you're in. Do you hear that? I'm through. I'm all wrong. I don't think that kid squealed on us. He seems to have the real stuff. I want to apologize to you gentlemen for my mistake about one of your classmates. I guess it's up to me to find Randall and apologize to him too. You should. All right, mister. Back to your room. Well, where have you been? Well, you told me to jump in the river, didn't you? Reports of the Varsity Crew sheds at 4.30 this afternoon. Get a report of conduct of midshipmen attached to the United States Naval Academy. Miss J.E., duty improper performance of. 
George W. T. Chris Gross on Tiny Inn. Reynolds P. A. Absent unauthorized from formation. Nothing wrong. Nothing at all. Oh, I see. It's a lovely morning, isn't it? Is it? Yes, it is. Come on. Let's walk and see. Now, tell me, what is the trouble? No trouble, I told you, Nancy. No trouble at all. I suppose that's why you're absent from formation without a hat. Looking as though you'd spent the night sleeping in a gutter. I didn't sleep. I just walked. Walked all night. No trouble. Oh, well. I might as well tell you. I've quit the academy. Oh. <laughs> you're disgusted with me, aren't you? Well, no. But I'm disappointed. Why, you see, I'm a naval officer's daughter, Paul, and Dad was em invalid at home from the North Sea Patrol. And the Navy means a lot to me. Well, it should to you too, Paul, with your grandfather. Oh, Granddad will understand. He'll know I'm doing the right thing. Well, of course he will. But he'll be disappointed too. Why, he's part of the tradition of the fleet. And he expected you to carry on that tradition. And now it dies with him. Oh, I've tried, Nancy. I've thought of that and I've tried. But, well, I just can't seem to live up to it. It's, it's too big for me. I see. Do you suppose everyone will understand that? This girl, Marion. Marion? Girls are funny, Paul. You think Marion would be disappointed if I quit? Terribly disappointed. Of course, she'll never let you know how disappointed she really is. If she cares for you. She'll just go on fighting the whole world for you. Shielding you from everyone as much as she can. Even from yourself. Of course, sometimes, she'll wish she didn't have to fight. She could just sit back securely. She'd be proud of you. Do you think Marion would want me to stick it out? Well, of course she would, Paul. Now, for her sake, you'll go back and see it through. Perhaps I'd better go back. And I'll see the thing through. She'll be so proud of you, Paul. You'll never know how proud she'll be. I'm just practicing general mouth. See, they, they think I'm going, I'm going to, to the army, but I ain't. I'm going to the Navy. Smoke screen. And I, well, shut my mouth. Mother Paul, well, I sure am a lucky man. You know, yeah, I done walked all the way down here to see you, and there you is. You can't wear that uniform smoke screen. Now, I'm looking at you, Mother Paul. Did that uniform won the first prize at the grand ball, barbecue ball, you know, in costume with his uh, Ethiopian sons and daughters of the youth? Say, does the Admiral know you took his uniform? Well, I'll tell you, uh, the Admiral went away on a visit, and, and I, I, I was scared the moths going to eat him up, so, so I carried this and that out for their land. You better take off that uniform before they throw you in jail. Yes. Yeah. And turn around and go right back home. 
Oh, I ain't going back home. You know I got to stay here and look out for you. Nothing. I done got a job over there in the mess hall. I'm going to be second system more. I think you came just in time, Smoke Street. Mr. Paul does need you. Yes, and I told you so. Well, not as a second assistant, Moke, but as long as you're here, I suppose you'll have to stay. Yeah, you know I got to let you. You know I was your mammy. <laughs> Goodbye, Paul. I'm sure everything's going to be fine now. Goodbye, Nancy. I'm going back, all right. Smoke Street. Ma'am? You know, sometimes men are such fools. Yes. They look so far away, they never see what's standing right beside them. Yeah, Miss Joe is, because cause Larry's not out there at that old ball, and, and I'm looking at the eye yelling, and I never seen my engagement girl standing right beside me, and she won't say I was evil. And I never seen her sitting there, and I sure didn't see that razor she had, but I'm going to stay here with Mr. Paul, I know that. Randall, look here, I'm sorry about last night, and I want to apologize. Oh, that's all right. I guess I blew off a little too much steam myself. Well, if there's <laughs> anything I can ever do for you, I want you to let me know. Well, if you want to, I wish you'd show me something about football. You're wrong. Hey, Randall, uh, tear up the room and clean up. Listen, I fixed everything on the report, and I think it's, everything's going to be all right. Oh, I can't do that. You can't do what? Well, you dumb you don't want to spend 30 days in the brig, do you? I'm coming back to see it through, and the best way to start is to take what's coming to me. Well? Well, if it isn't little Fred Fearnut. Terrible bugaboo as the Navy makes you out. Oh, that's publicity, Miss Wayne. And this is Miss Wilson, Miss Wayne. How do you do? How are you? Well, that was so thoughtful you called here. Yeah. I just adore orchids. They are beautiful. Well, of course they're not as nice as one gets in New York or Philadelphia. Oh, I suppose not. I'm afraid if anyone ever sent me any, I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> Have you been long to dance, John? Oh, yes. Now, uh, we'll be seeing you at the meet this afternoon. You're coming, aren't you? Well, I don't know. Paul invited me to the hop, but I don't think that includes the mix. Oh, good. That gives me a chance, then. You'll come along, won't you? Well, I'd love it. Thanks. All right. <laughs> well, what do you think of Marion? Well, I think she's very striking. Oh, I knew you'd like her. Well, how could I help it? I think your brother's awfully nice, too. Oh, everybody likes John. But they're all crazy about marrying.
Howdy, gorgeous. What's your trouble? Why, my sister Susan is here tonight, and I'm trying to promote some dances for her. Hmm, I see. Have you got a picture of her? No. You haven't got a picture of her? My boy. Oh, sir. Yes? Uh, my sister Susan is here tonight, and I'm trying to promote some dances for her. Sorry, mister, but I'm not dancing tonight. I have some studying to do. Please, sir, my sister Susan is here from home. Do you mind saving a dance for her? Me? I'm sorry. I've been dancing too much tonight. I'm all tired out. Thank you, sir. <laughs> What is it, mister? Please, sir. Uh, my sister Susan is here from home. Do you mind saving a dance for her? Why, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm on duty tonight. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Boy, if she looked anything like him. <laughs> my sister Susan is here from home. Would you uh, save a dance for her? Well, uh, I'm sorry, mister, but all my dances are taken. Some other time. Miss Wilson. And would you all get me a scarf out there on the balcony? With pleasure, Miss Wilson. But of course I can't really possibly dance with all you boys. Not at once, anyway. And, and, and besides, it's just, ooh, look at them. Lots more beautiful girls than I am. I know, but Miss Wilson, there are none of them as beautiful as you. That's right, Miss Wilson. That's very true, Miss Wilson. Mr. Randall? Yes, sir. My sister Susan is here tonight, and I'm trying to get some dances for her. <laughs> now, you might think it's presumptuous on my part, but could you spare us a dance? Let's go, sailor. Oh, Susan! <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. 
Mr. Randall, the music has stopped. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. All ready to tuck you under my arm, child. Oh, you don't mind, Paul, do you? Oh, of course not, Nancy. Go right ahead. Thank you. Oh, it's awfully nice of you to come. Well, Nancy, I want you to talk to the boys. Why, Joe, hello there. How are you, boy? Sure glad to see you. You're looking great. My sister, Susan. How do you do? Well, hello, Joe, Walk boy. How are you? Where have you been all evening? You just come down my from Washington. Joe, hello, hello. Well, how, do how do you do? How do you like the place? Have you met my sister, no. Susan? How do you do? Hello, Joe. You like her? How do you like her? Hey, Joe's a wonderful boy. Oh, he's a great boy. He's a great show to meet. How long are you playing on that old team next fall, too? young lady yours? I've told you a thousand times, if you want anything, you've got to grab it. After you grab it, hold on to it. No one in this world is going to give you anything, not even your own brother. So make up your mind to what you want, and then go and take it. Bye-bye, Nancy. Good luck. Good luck. And hold that line, Nancy. 
Well, Nancy, Marion will be at the game as my guest. Oh, that's good. I never asked. Of course, I thought John would take her, but she telephoned me this morning. Well, that was nice of her, wasn't it? Wish me good luck, Nancy. Of course, I won't get in the game, but they're just taking me along as a reward for sticking with them all season. So wish me good luck anyway. Oh, of course I wish you luck, Paul. And you too, Joe. You too, Al. See you when we come back, Nancy. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, I'm going to the game. You are? Oh, yes, I'm going. As your brother's guest. Well, but... Come on, son. The whole Navy's waiting for you. Let's get going. Goodbye, Nancy. Come on, Young one, hope you get in. Yeah? Well, so do I, you big stiff. <laughs> My brother. Hey, snap out of it, Paul. All you've done since we've left Annapolis is around and moon about Nancy. What's mine is his, huh? Couldn't leave Nancy alone. Nancy don't look to me like a girl anybody would leave alone very long. If I could only get a shot at him. Maybe you will. If I could only get in the game, I'd show him. All my life I've stood by and watched him take everything he wanted. Now he's taking Nancy, the big stiff. I could break his neck for him. All right, Harold, here, shape those hands up good today now, will you? Thanks, Say, how you feel today? All right. Say, by the way, did you get your cushion yet? Cushion? What do I want a cushion for? Well, that bench is going to be awful hard. <laughs> You're funny, aren't you? today to play the greatest team that West Point ever sent down the Hudson. They've only got one weakness, men. They've built their attack around one man, Cadet Randall. If you stop him, you stop the army. This will be the last Navy team I ever coached, boys. 
my last Army-Navy game. And I want my memories of this game to be fine, brave memories. I want to remember a weak Navy team going out there with nothing but the old Navy fighting spirit and refusing to be beaten. That's all I ask of you men as a parting gift to me. The old fighting Navy spirit. Because a team that won't be beaten can't be beaten. Now go out there today, men, and fight. Go ahead now. Paul, did you see Nancy waving at you? No, I was watching John. Well, shut my mouth. I sure is lucky man. Hi, Jenna. Hello, Smokestream. Yes, no expect to see you way up north, Andy. <laughs> no, no. Los Angeles, <laughs> man, Miss Nancy. Hi, Andy. Well, how do you do, Smokestream? What uh, are you doing up here? Oh, they got me out looking after the ghost. You know, you know the Navy ghost. See him over there? Yes. Look at uh, Emma, I want to ask you, you know, you remember when I left, don't you? Mm-hmm. Well, you all never missed nothing, did you? No, I don't think I missed anything, Smokescreen. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they listen to what I told them, they got a chance of getting an even. Pardon me, Coach. But do you think there's a chance of me getting in that game today? I'm saving you. Well, folks, you know where we are, the annual Army and Navy football classic. We're about to start now. The stands are all filling up. There's about 100,000 people here. I never saw so many people gathered in one spot in my life. Everybody that is anybody is present. Admiral Hoosis and General This, That, and the Other, they're all here, folks. In a box down there, I see Angus McDonald and Tim Donahue with him. <laughs> Coming in the gates, I saw Tammany Young trying to crash him. He'll get in. It wouldn't be a game without him. Uh-oh. About ready to start, folks. And heads it is. Hmm? What do you want? Oh, we'll take the kick. You can kick it. All right, what goal? Uh, Camp that Freighter. You defend that one. Good All right. Stay lucky. Kick, kick from here. All right. Captain Randall of the Army won the toss, folks. Army luck and a great Army team. Looks like a bad day for poor old Navy. All right, let's have that. Come on, Andy, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bring him up in here, Jim. What do you say? to be much punch on Annapolis backfield, folks. The boys are fighting hard. Navy can't gain an inch. Now they're going to kick. Now we'll see. Listen, this 
center of that line is pretty weak, gang. So let's get right in there and play that one right between center and guard. Right. Ernie, you take out that fullback, you know? Let's right. get in there. Right. 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 Oh, is that tight? Right. 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 Come on, come on. Watch the ball, gang. Watch him in there. Watch that guy around line. Watch him. Oh, he made it. thing in the Navy, Summers. You never can tell the result of a battle until it's over. Ah. What's come on? Stand back in the town. Be a bad sailor. trying to do, no, Randall. Break all these guys. Oh, oh, what a oh, tragedy. Hey, boy. Time out. Man right. injured. Come on. Go ahead in there now, Hall, and hit him hard, you understand? Yes, go ahead. Hey, coach, when are you going to put me in? I'm saving you. Get that man, get that man! Nothing. Army six. Navy nothing. Now they're getting ready for that old goal kick. The teams are just leaving the field at the end of the first half of the Army and Navy game, folks. The score, as you know, is Army six. Navy nothing. Randall has been running wild ever since that first touchdown, which was a pip but he's been unable to do any scoring. The Secretary of the Army is shaking hands with the Secretary of the Navy out in the middle of the field. I don't know what they're talking about. They're probably worrying about whether they'll get their cars out of that parking space after the game. Over on the right is the Army Mule. Over here we have the Navy Goat. I hope they don't get together. We'll have another battle. It's been very clear up to now, folks, but she's clouding up a bit. We might have a little rain. If we do, it'll cool off the mule, and the goat will get in the boat. Goat in the boat, and the mule will be cool. Ah, that's terrible. I won't pull another one, folks. It's all right. Don't worry. All right. 
Now listen, boys. I'm not going to try to tell you what you're doing wrong. You know that as well as I do. I just want you to know you're doing all right. More than I expected. You're out there fighting just like a Navy team should fight. And I'm proud of you. And keep it up the next half, but don't forget, watch Randall. You understand? Watch Randall. What are you doing? Well, I'm combing my hair, sir. <laughs> He's combing his hair. Figuring on going out somewhere, are you? No, sir. But, Coach, aren't you going to put me in that game this afternoon? I'm saving you. minutes left to play, folks. The score, as you know, is still Army 6, Navy nothing. That shower rain we had in the third quarter didn't help matters much. The field is a sea of mud. Those boys are fighting like madmen. They're covered with mud from head to foot. Nevertheless, they're still playing clean football. Oh, boy, what a play. That Army is slowly but surely approaching that Navy goal line. It... I have it. Nice tackling, smoke screen. I didn't know you were playing football. I know the mouth of George. I ain't much playing in this game. I'm just out here looking for the Navy gold tassel. What do I do? Let's go. 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 Let's go.
up your shit, brother. You bet he is. Let me have it again, the same plan. I'll break his back. All right, let's go, gang. Step up. Get that man with the children out there. Come on, Paul. Get in there and do this for you. Yes, sir. Come on, Randall. Get that old clipper down there. Let's go now. What do you say there? Get ready, Joe. Get him! Oh, Help! Steal Nancy, will you? Take what you want in life. I'll show you. What are you talking about? Come on, anyway? come on, Cap. Let's play ball. Come on. Good job, Paul. Good job, Let's go, Doc. Let's go, Doc. Let's go, Doc. Let's go, Let's go, Doc. Tied him anyway, Jeff. Never mind the kick, boy. We did all right. Well. she'd been so nice to you. I like her all right, but as a brother. I mean as a brother-in-law. Thanks, John. Gee, that's great. I'm sorry I had to spill you. Oh, forget it. I had a spill coming to me, Paul. I've been a big shot here too long. In fact, it was good to learn I could be spilled. Paul, when I get that old commission and go out to the army, I'll only be a punk shaved tail. Some grizzled old sergeant probably knows more about soldiering than I'll ever know. Have to take me in hand and play nurse to me. <laughs> I'm not sore, Paul. I'm thankful to you and proud of you. Gee, John, you're sure regular. Okay. Let's go, get it right in there. Congratulations, Navy. You played clean, hard football. And you fellas deserved the ball, although the game was a tie. But it was really a Navy victory. Lots of luck. Oh, my boy, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And, honey, boy, well, I'm proud of you all, too, because you're taking me to dance tonight. You know that? Why, Marion, I'm afraid I... Well, uh, Nancy, you see, we... Oh, yes, I, I see. Albert Edward Price, you played a great game. Oh, <laughs> Hello, Marion. Hello, folks. How are you? Mr. Randall. Yeah. My sister Susan says she will meet you at the number three tunnel. Great. Come here. Marion, this is Jay Farragut. Yes, he wants to take you to dance tonight. He told me so. I can't hear the light. I assure you. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, 
Hey, Coach. What were you saving me for today? For the dance tonight. Huh?